Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Adrian. I recently moved out of Singapore, but for these two weeks, I'm back in Singapore to help my friend's business to organize some events. And now I'm just walking to a coffee shop near where I'm staying at to get some coffee and breakfast. Uh, so yeah, very excited to take you along. It is around 9.30 now, which means that I should probably change into my office outfit and get ready for work. You know, even though the company that I'm freelancing for isn't like those tech companies where literally everyone can wear slippers to work, at the same time, I don't have to be wearing suit and tie every day, which is nice. So I'm just gonna go with something in between, you know, like business casual vibes. Yep, let's do it. Today's outfit, I'm keeping it simple and versatile for a business casual vibe. I've layered the classic white pocket t-shirt from Gap as the base, topped it off with the blue Oxford shirt for a clean yet relaxed outerwear look. I am pairing it with these beige long pants. It is a perfect mix of laid back and polished, which is honestly great for those days when you need to keep things professional and comfortable at the same time. Also, I almost forgot to say that these clothing items were shot from Zalora and I'm just very excited to be partnering with Zolora on this video. Thank you Zolora for sponsoring. I just got off the MRT and I'm walking towards the office building now. Um, which is very close to my old office actually like my old office is further down the Robinson Road Whereas I'm headed to the bulky area now, but you know Singapore CBD isn't that big to begin with And it just feels very interesting to be back to this kind of CBD work alive. Do I miss it? Probably no, but it sure feels very familiar A few moments later I just concluded my work day and now I'm headed to Talak Ayer to meet up with two of my friends for dinner um, Actually, we don't know what we're eating yet, so I guess we'll find out Very cool is. <laughs> it's really like burning. Uh, trying to find good lighting. Doesn't work. We are now going for a second round because one of our friends, she's just a total alcoholic. So we came all the way to Robertson Key to check out one of the speakeasy bars here called Chandu. Honestly, never been there, never even heard of it, but I'm just very excited to check it out. I want to try the macaroni. Sorry, they're supposed to be together, but they flew away. I know. Okay, cool. Thank you. See you guys later. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <sighs> Didn't really sleep well last night, and I used to have to go to the office today, so. I guess for today's outfit, I'm just gonna go for an even more casual take on business casual. I'm still wearing a plain white shirt underneath as the base, but I decided to layer it with a gray and white striped long sleeves from Cotton On, because it's really giving that stylish yet relaxed kind of look. And as for the bottom, I'm wearing these gray vintage shorts from Gap. These are super comfortable, super laid back, 
but at the same time, I guess it still feels put together enough for a casual work day, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing them. Congratulations! Update, I'm now headed to Sands Expo, which is located at Marina Bay Sands to do some initial setup for the event. Yeah, I just have to cross the street. And then we'll be collecting the tickets. Hopefully it's gonna go well. I'm a little bit stressed. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking tired. You know what? I finally managed to redeem the ticket for myself so I could come into the venue and do some basic setup. Like I could put some of our corporate merch inside of the counter at least, but I was experiencing some major issue when I tried to collect the tickets on behalf of my other colleagues. Even though I have their IC photos and I have their approval and confirmation of like everything, but the event organizers were just being like absolutely ridiculous. Apparently, a lot of people were super mad at how they managed the whole situation. So, yeah, I guess I gotta find out a way to resolve all of these issues before tomorrow. It is finally the weekend. You know, for the past two days, I didn't really feel like vlogging at all because every single day I had to be at an event venue from 9 to 6 essentially and there was a lot of talking to clients, walking around the venue, which totally drained my energy at the end of each day. But it's finally Saturday and I'm seeing a few friends after so I'm just very excited. Before that, let's do a quick outfit check. So, for a casual hangout with friends, I'm keeping it easy and comfortable with this loose fit t-shirt from Villa in a rich chocolate fondant color. It's kind of like between burgundy and brown, but yeah, I just, I love this color a lot. Paired with these relaxed drawstring waist shorts from Urban Revival in a neutral khaki shade. It is the perfect outfit for when you want to look cool while staying comfy all day. We are now at this newly opened complex called New Baru, which is essentially a place with a bunch of cafes, restaurants, and RC shops. And we are meeting two friends of ours for brunch. After that, we're probably just gonna check out this place a little bit, walk around, and enjoy a very chill weekend morning. Hello! Long time no see. for a coffee shop um, but somehow we ended up at this nail bar like nail salon literally and I got the iced chai latte um, with oat milk instead oh wow a special gift for my friend what is it oh mooncake oh my gosh this is so aesthetic <laughs> I'm going out for dinner with my friend, but you know, it's a super duper casual setting, so I'm just wearing something comfy as well. 
The top is the super dry gray sport t-shirt, nothing unusual, nothing special, but it's kind of oversized and it's very comfortable. So yeah, that's why I chose it. And I'm matching it with this pair of Uniqlo green dry stretch easy shorts, literally my wardrobe staple in Singapore. Because I guess in this kind of hot and humid weather, you really need a pair of shorts that's breathy, that's comfortable, that suits different scenarios. Yeah, this is my outfit for tonight. We're now on our way to a Zichao restaurant for dinner. Uh, it is called JB Among, and I think they're very famous for their crispy fried bihun. So yeah, very excited to try it out. And I feel like I do miss Singaporean or like Malaysian food like a lot. It's just like one of my weird cravings these days. So let's check it out. Oh my God, that looks so good. And my favorite salted egg prawn. Oh my gosh, I miss you so, 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 so much. lucky that we got on our or my favorite type of bus in Singapore um, it has three doors and the interior is super duper new I always enjoy taking this kind of bus it kind of feels like you're on a tour bus and we are now headed to Duxton Hill because we want to check out a bar called Sago House I mean I've been to their old location before but um, after they moved to their new branch we haven't had a chance to check it out yet so that's what we're gonna do tonight We're now at Duxton Hill. I think Sago House is somewhere on the left, if I remember correctly. A little different than all the rest. I quite old fashioned, wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling. It is just past midnight, but for some reason that bar is already closed. I just don't understand why bars in Singapore close so early, you know? Like, where do people even go after midnight? Yeah, I guess now we're just waiting for a taxi to go home. Hello again. I had a super relaxing weekend. But you know what's even more exciting is that I am flying to Bali tomorrow morning with my friend because I just want to give myself a nice little reward for grinding so hard the past few weeks. Like I really slept before midnight given all the work that I had to complete. So I, I need a break. And I haven't been to Bali in a long while so I just really look forward to that. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and if you do, please remember to like this video and also subscribe to Zalora for more content like this. By the way, the tank top that I'm wearing right now, I also bought it from Zalora. So I'll also include the links to other clothing items that I showcased in this video in the description box below. So make sure to check them out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. And bye for now.